Happy Wednesday, South Africa. My name's Clem Pedro. We're in the kitchen for the culinary hotline. Bling! Ding, ding, ding! ding. <laughs> I'm not alone. I'm in the kitchen with the whole fiance herself, Zoe Brown. Thank you, Clem. Thank this... you, thank you. How, how are you. Okay, how are you feeling? Are you, are you even going to be able to cook? Or are you just going to be like... Ah. No, I'll be able to cook. I, okay. I now have to learn recipes, but I... Um, yeah, it's still... I think it's feeling real now because... People are celebrating. They are. Are you going to only be cooking with one hand? Because your other hand, that rock is just like <laughs> holding you down. Are you going to be okay to, to cook with just one hand today? Or are you going to manage I'll, two? I'll, I'll use both hands, I promise. I'll use both hands. Okay, can you just like show the people one more time? Show them. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> it's in my, oh my goodness. Wow, congratulations. Thank that is you. amazing, amazing thank news. You, thank you. So on the topic of grape news. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're celebrating the grape today. Earlier this week, Willie showed us about everything about grapes, about from vine to table, the cold chain, and the whole process involved, and it's given us a new sense of appreciation for grapes. Oh, I, I've always loved grapes. Uh, I prefer getting them in summer, because they're just at their best and most affordable. Uh -huh. But somehow, Woolies have managed to get us grapes throughout the year. And they are just bursting with flavor, doesn't matter what month of the year it is. Yeah. So we're gonna, besides the fact that we do love grapes, just as is chilled out the fridge, um, there are other things you can do with it. And we're gonna experiment it all today. Starting with the savory dish, which is grape marmalade. And we're gonna add some whipped goat's cheese to that and put in little tiny little tots. One might say they might make the perfect little canapé for an engagement party. I don't know, I don't know. Are you, are you offering to cater? Are you offering to host? Well, now you can't say no on TV. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, you're gonna work on our whipped goat's cheese, which is super simple, it's goat's cheese. And then a little bit of, where's our little utility jar? A little Over bit here? of yogurt in there. We're All you want to do that. is you add just enough yogurt to thin it down. So I'd say like, would you be using that spatula? I'd say like a quarter amount of the spatula to start off with. Like that much? That much is perfect. Okay, you're gonna get that in there. Um, a tiniest bit of lemon juice, just to cut through all that creamy richness. Okay, so we don't need to use everything that I'm seeing in front of no. me. No. So just like a little dash. Like a, like a, ah, done, perfect. Done. You're gonna blitz that up and bring it all together. While you're busy with that, I've got some red onions in this pan. So the most important thing about onions in general, you want to cook it down slowly to bring out all the natural sugars. I don't have that time, but at home you should be doing this for about 20 minutes. Okay, that's looking good. Should Turn I add more liquids or are you happy with this? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Actually, that's exactly perfect. what you want. I've got some seedless grapes, and you want to go for seedless, you don't want to be picking out the seeds. Luckily, yes. Woolies have seedless grapes in all the varieties. So you want to cook this until it just starts to pop and release its juices. That's when you know things are happening. To that, we're going to add a little bit of thyme, because here's something interesting. Grapes and rosemary, grapes and thyme. Oh. They, Best friends. They go hand in hand. Absolutely. So you just add the grapes, you're not cutting it up, no. you're not well, doing anything to them, you're just allowing them to naturally burst yes. their flavors. And I think it's also quite fussy if you're gonna start cutting each little grape, uh, let it do its own thing, and it will start popping and just softening by itself. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. But are you now, is this recipe just for red grapes or does it work with green grapes? No, thank you for the question. It works on green grapes, black grapes, ruby grapes, any grape. The candy floss grapes? The candy floss grape. Yes. Even the butterscotch grape. In fact, with this recipe, I've never the had butters the butterscotch we grape. need to sort you out. We need to get you some of that. So yeah, any grape will work really well with this. So you're gonna rely on the natural sugar, a little bit of brown sugar went in there just to help that along. You're gonna cook it down a little further than this, okay? Just a little further than that. Just stop it because I needed to chill it down. So okay? how long will this take to get to that process? It's gonna get to this in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I suggest then cooking it for another 10 minutes just to get it a little extra jammy. Okay. But you can decide whether you want it extra jammy or not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some puff pastry. You've got your whipped ghost cheese. You wanna come over the side? I will bring the go whipped ghost cheese. We're gonna cut little squares. All we're gonna do is we're gonna line the little pastry shells in here. Put a little bit of baking paper inside. Add a little bit of rice to it. We're gonna blind bake it. Ooh. What we're gonna end up with is this, I'm fast forwarding. We're gonna end up with these little tiny little puff pastry shells. Perfect, exactly what we need. 
I'm gonna actually use that, it looks amazing. Can I, can you I, can, can go I? For it. They were chives that we never got around to using as well as seasoning. They're for garnishing, They're so it's perfectly garnishing. fine. So we're gonna add a little bit of your goat's cheese to it. And whipped goat cheese is absolutely delicious. Fantastic, oh. while you're busy there, I'll keep an eye on these. Thank you, thank you. A Little bit of the grape marmalade goes on top, and you don't need too much. It's got quite a like intense flavor, just like the goat's cheese. So you just want enough to cut through that richness of the goat's cheese. Mm. Then, all you do is a little sprinkle. Oh. And I do like the colors. It's that, that like white, and then you've got that crimson color coming from your grapes. And it works really well. That's why I chose these color. These are the, the red grapes, the ruby grapes. And they just work so beautifully because of the color contrast between the white, the red, or pinkish color, and then the green. Well, you are correct in saying it makes the perfect little canapes. Can we try one of the little? Yes, we can. You know, on Wednesdays, I don't pack food. I, I enjoy the culinary hotline. There we go. Okay, we're taking a bite. Aha, uh -huh. amazing. Mm. So Africa at home, if you want to get involved, let us know your favorite way mm. to enjoy grapes. Or if you have any other grape recipes, send us your voice notes to our WhatsApp number 063-408-8863. This is good. I love how this marmalade you made just uh -huh. balances the goat's cheese. Oh, it's so crunchy. It's really good. Where can they get the recipe? You can get the recipe at expressoshow.com. And, of course, I have crummies on my lips, so mm -hmm. you too. Mm. But head on over to our website, expressoshow.com, and stick around. Chef Clem's not going anywhere. We've got more culinary hotline bling. Ding, ding, ding! We'll let him eat and then get him back to his normal voice. <laughs> It's my feel good work this show. Welcome back, South Africa, for the second installment of the Culinary Hotline. Bling! Yay! Ding, ding, ding! Yay! Did you see the tarts Zoe and I made? Mm -hmm. They were delicious. Amazing. They were, in the, they were just so good. And if you haven't noticed yet, I'm in the kitchen with Graham, the main grape himself. <laughs> he and I are gonna be making a little spin on a coca van. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Ooh. If you wanna let me know what your favorite way to enjoy grapes are, send us your voice notes to 063-408-8863. Can I tell you my favorite way to enjoy grapes? Okay. Okay, so I get them out the fridge ice cold. Okay. <laughs> and then I see how many I can pack into my mouth. <laughs> and okay. what's the record? Six. Six of the big globes. Okay, those big globes. And then I let yeah. it sit there until they get warm. Oh. It's a choking hazard, so don't try yeah, it. Yeah, no, please don't do that at home. Until they get warm, and then I just crunch, crunch them. Away. And then and it, it just, just like... explodes all over your mouth. I'm glad you don't leave them in there until they turn to wine. No. And then do it like that. No. We love the humble grape. That's not so humble anymore because this season. Grapes are on a different level, and we understand now how they get to us. And we've actually delved a little deeper into the cold chain, which is insane to me how they keep and maintain that. It's not 36 degrees, Jonathan. Um, they maintain it throughout. Yes. Um, but I'm loving how we can really get kind of creative in the kitchen with these beautiful globes of joy. I mean, look at that. Dude. They look beautiful. They look beautiful. So like I said, we did, like a little spin on coco vine. Coco vine is a dish where you use originally red wine, okay. sometimes white wine, as the base stock for this chicken dish. But you can actually extract a lot of that flavor using just the grapes. Just the grapes. And this works really, really well. So what we do is we've got some chicken thighs. They've been browning away. As you can see, they've got some nice color on them. Beautiful. I'm going to borrow this plate uh, over here, and someone's going to bring me another plate. Thigh, is that traditionally done with a coco van? Is it a choice you're making here? Mm. Normally with a coco van, you use your what you call the dark meat. So your, okay. your um, thighs or your legs, I prefer the using... The fattier flavorful, yeah. yeah. I prefer using thighs just because they're a little juicier. Mm -hmm. If you do want, you can use legs. Oh, here comes Lucian Albertain, everyone. Oh, can I get a hand for, for Lucian Albertain? my love. <laughs> thank you for the plate, Lucian. That was amazing, that was amazing. Um, he so heard yeah. a, no, you heard us say wine. That's why he was like just he was loitering. In. He just he then thought maybe he was, was in. Happy. So what I'm gonna need from you is to chop some leeks. Oh fuck Also, okay. um, what grapes in Afrikaans? I know, I know. I'm gonna get this wrong. I'm gonna say. <laughs> what is it called? Tell, tell it's a plain grapiki. It's a grapi. South Africa, did you know that a grape in Afrikaans is called a, a grap or a grapi? It's not. I know it's not. So, so we, what can is you it? Tell, grape is 
That's it, I knew it, man. Now tell Graham what a grap is in Afrikaans. It's a joke. It's a I joke. Know. It's a I joke. I feel like you made a funny there. I feel like you made me make a joke No, but there. you, that was a good funny. That was a good grap. I love that. I love that. But you thought Graham was a grap. I know, I walked right into it, OK? I feel like they set me up, OK? I love it, though. <laughs> Graham, you are a legend. And you're, you're Afrikaans. One day we're going to have an Afrikaans uh, picture. Ah, the other hand. Use the other oh, hand. Oh, our so eyes, Zoe, our eyes. Thank you, Zoe. Uh. We are going to have a dictionary that we're going to print. You can be able to buy it in, in a PDF form or the actual physical hard copy called Afrikaans according to Graham. Exactly. It's going to be coming out soon. Look out for Can that. The Engels. The Engels. So you can just give me, give me all of it. I want the greens and the whites. Okay. Use the baby leeks, and I'm using leeks because it's softer than like using harsh onions. Sure. And they cook down a little quicker. So you can. And they get a lot. They become really soft and they delicious do. in that sense. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can. About. Yeah, a that's it, that's so. it. Cool. So we're talking about the cold chain. By the way, and I heard you mention this, I was in a T-shirts and shorts because <laughs> the temperature outside on the day was 40 degrees. Wow. So I had to dress appropriately, 40 degrees, T-shirts, shorts. <laughs> then, when we went into the cold storage, <laughs> minus one. <laughs> so I went from minus one degrees to 40 degrees. And that's just the commitment and the intensity of like what goes behind actually harvesting the Maintaining grapes. it, hey? Cold chain, I'm telling you, it's yeah. absolutely amazing. And we got, we'll literally take you inside the cold chain. Yes. One degrees that it is after the break. I cannot wait. Okay, I'm going to leave these little stumpy guys good. like that. Leeks can join the olives. Olives, by the way, look like grapes, but that's not why we're doing it. <laughs> They've got a nice saltiness, and then the grapes come through with the sweetness. So we're balancing the sweetness okay. with a bit of that briny saltiness. Leeks are going to join the vibe. In the pan, eh? Yes. Whoops. And um, two bays. Two, two bays. bays. You there can't have two bays. No. Like you're not allowed to have two bays. One bay only. One there bay. we go. A little bit of salt goes in there. We're going to give it a bit of a... Hey, you're doing it, you're doing it. <laughs> then what we're going to do is we're going to add some extra chickeny flavour. These are a pantry must. If you do not have them, you need to get it immediately. For sure. Concentrated chicken stock. This has got so much umami, so much chicken flavour. It's delicious. Gee, you're doing the things. There and we go. This is smelling phenomenal. I, I, the leek has a slightly different vibe about it. Like you say, it's not overpowering like, a, like an onion, but you're getting that same flavour vibe, that profile. I'll use a little bit of these with my um, instant noodles with my kids. Just a little bit of this. Yes, 90%. yes. You give it proper flavour. A little bit of water. So you're going to cook that down until it becomes delicious and thick. We're going to add a knob of butter in there. The chicken's going to go back into Just the looking at this, it feels very French, hey? It is. <laughs> it does come across as this, French. Is this a French vibe? When you talk about French cuisine, because that seems to be kind of one of the base layers of all of your guys' education. Mm -hmm. This feels like that. This feels quite juge. As it simple is, as it is, uh, it does feel quite bougie. <laughs> it is quite bougie, and we are taught to work with, uh, like, French techniques. What's beautiful is the fact that we can now combine French technique, techniques with South African produce exactly. and create, like, world-class dishes. Grapes go in. You're going to cook this, let them pop, let them burst on their own. Oh. Chicken is going to release its flavour. Grapes are going to do its thing. Olives, leeks, all of it comes together. Very simple dish, but it comes together so beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. Okay. You get some mash. Get your mash down. By the way, South Africa, no, we did not make this mash from scratch. Uh, this is the it. Woolies frozen mash. <laughs> Another pantry item you should have for sure for this winter. G, do you want to skip up for us as a And that's the, the smear. You've got to have the mash smear. You've got to have that eh? mash smear. Oh, by the way, another... Guys, I'm coming to with all my favourites. So I've spoken about the, the concentrated stock. I've spoken about the mash. Sherry vinegar. It's such a great way to elevate flavour. A little bit in. There we go. Sherry Ooh. also made from grapes. There we go. Oh, man. Guys, get it now. In your, <laughs> late, in your nearest Woolies. In store, online. And Give, dash. If, if you've got a foodie in your world, so I'm being kind of artistic here. If you've got a foodie in your world, get them That's that. It. Get them that. Go. Gee, that's beautiful. Your plating skills are next level. I, I don't know. The I don't know so much about that. That's not a grap. That's not a grap. That's <laughs> not a grap. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Chef Kema, I love this. We have been ah. pumping up this cold chain. There is a reason why we get produce this good in our homes. And we'll take you inside the cold chain in just a moment. If you want to recreate this coco van yourself without the wine, go to expressoshow.com. Beautiful. Wouldn't mind a glass it's of wine, though. <laughs> It's my feel good breakfast show Welcome back South Africa to 
The Culinary Hotline Bling! Hi. That was beautiful. Thank you. I try my best. Where do you harness that? I, I harness it from Jonathan Rocksmith, who is our guest today. And I can tell you that throughout the course of what we're about to do, we have a backtrack constantly. A key change, if you will, with regard to what we do. I love it. Like, if you're looking for proper, let's just say, intense music... Intense music? take a listen to the intensity in this right now. Listen. Just there. <laughs> Right. What? Did you feel that? Hey? Yes. It's different. Yes. It's different. What it, are we doing today? It, it just like, gets you. Ah, uh, wow. I love it. We're going to make a beautiful grape dessert. Grape dessert. Okay. Um, like a, a grape sorbet. Sounds ah. delicious. Sounds amazing. You know. It's visual. It's all of everything you need. Because I believe that ice cream or sorbet is best enjoyed during winter. Don't. Don't argue 100 with me. 100% agree. 100%. And someone else who loves grapes yes. is Josephine Pixton. Josephine! Hey! Pick up the bunch. Yummy. What I love she? grapes. Yes. It's yummy with Greek yogurt, or as is, with the hand sign. Hashtag express the show, SABC3. Shabba da bap Thank you. Good comment. Good, there we go. Comment. I love that. Grapes right. are absolutely amazing, and we've been showing you the whole morning how we can do the most with them. You've been doing great, eh? Like, I'm calling a restaurant doing... a vine dining restaurant. Vine dining. I've been doing grape, and it's... No, no, I love it. Carl, you're just full of it. I, I okay. love it. Okay. I'm so, always full of it. Very, no, no, in Talk a good way. Me. In a good way. We're going to take our black seedless grapes. Yes. These are the melodies. How appropriate. And we're going to freeze them. Okay? I like, I like them. them. You know why? Because the skins give them a tartness that I really enjoy. These ones. I, I experiment with grapes at home a lot. I love grapes. What's your best, your um, favorite way to enjoy them? Uh, well, just as is. But if I want to do something like stunning on a, on a charcuterie board, then I can give them a good roast and I bring them all the way down to room temperature again. They are decadent, delicious, and... <laughs> especially when it comes to cheeses. Okay? Go. And now you've got vanilla extract going there. Vanilla extract going in there. Then we're going to okay. add a little bit of honey. Honey's going to add... Not for the sweetness, right, cool. for the acidity. That's acidity. What we need. There we go. Honey's acidic. This vine dining restaurant you got going on, I appreciate this. There we go. We're going to give it a good... Okay, good. when we mix, a mix requires Jonathan Rocksmith to do something... You know what I'm saying? Something yes. fast and amazing. Jonathan go. Rocksmith, go for it as we blend. <laughs> Yes! Get that. Okay. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Then what I've done is I've taken some Greek yogurt and I want you to do this for me to show the viewers how I've actually done this. All right. Okay? I've popped it in a zip seal bag, okay? And we'll make sure you mark it and label it yogurt. Okay. Because sometimes in the freezer things can all just look like the this, same this thing. Because this does look like, yeah. Um, I don't want to mention, but yes. that's fine. So we got, ooh, here we go. So we got some yogurt. And they're popping it into the bag. Into the baggie. That's into fine. the baggie. No, we can actually say this. It's, 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 it's really... It's, it's, we can say it. Well, this... If you have an infant in the house, chances are you might have a bag like this <laughs> in the freezer. You're laughing, but you don't know. And things, like I said, in the freezer... Label they, stuff in the freezer. Label things in the yeah, freezer. So this is not for baby. This is frozen Greek... Um, frozen, frozen plain yogurt. Oh, my oh. word. So hold on, look. Jonathan Rocksmith, help me out here, because this is a very, very, like, Mission Impossible type of moment, isn't it? Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Jonathan Rocksmith. So the right. reason we pop into the zip seal bag is because yeah. you want to flatten it out so it actually freeze like it freezes in about sometimes two hours, which is okay. amazing. You want it to freeze really quickly. Then you're gonna add your frozen yogurt to the mixer, give it a good blend. And look at that color change. You wanna see that beautiful purple come oh, through. Oh man. And you can decide whether you want the skins to be super, super fine and just let it go for longer or not. And then 
I like it. I like going super fine with it. I think okay. it's, it's, it's great. Guys, just hang on. We'll be here for five minutes. Just joking. No, not, won't, won't. not five minutes. Don't take that long. Pop it into a dish and then pop it into the freezer. It's got to be freezer safe. And because the yogurt is frozen, because yes. the grapes are frozen, it's going to freeze really, really quickly. So you got froze on froze. Frozen. It was going <laughs> to... John the Rocks, what did you say? Is this frozen? Beautiful. It's beautiful. You better, you better continue it again because I just want to feel this. Just, just play it again, Jonathan. You know you want to do it just a little bit because you know what? <laughs> the cold never bothered me anyway. Wow! Wow! Did it. That's okay. Great. Okay. Love that. That show, Key Change Theatre on the Bay. You better go see it. You, you better, better go see it, okay? You better. Right? Okay. You might want to have this as dessert as you wait for the show to come in. I think so. Look at that beautiful sorbet. You oh, can decide... Just, and you know what I love about it? Texturally, uh -huh. you've got a beautiful, just a... a like, I think the mouthfeel is probably going to be great. Oh, for right? sure. For sure. It's going to be That's, creamy without the cream. Like, this is a very, very... This is a very hot moment for us, even though it's cold. Like, can you imagine with Jonathan Rocks with giving us sexy piano vibes as I taste this? You know? In fact, with the eyes, with the eyes. I feel like I need to feed this to Jonathan Roxman. Jonathan, can you make your way to the kitchen, please? Oh, wait, no, 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 better idea, better idea, better. Jonathan, I'm sorry, better idea. Jonathan, stay on the keys. Okay, I'm sending Clem, a call to you. Welcome to live TV. We just decided this now. Okay, go, I'm gone. Go, okay, let's go. go. I'm go. going, going. It's almost like cheesecake. Is it like cheesecake? It's really good. It's, it's, a, it's beautiful. Mm. How does it make you feel on a, a piano level? On a piano level? On a piano level? Yes. It, well, it kind of makes me feel... Just a small town grape. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Well. If you want to go grab this recipe, and if you want to go grab Jonathan Rocksmith, you've got two options. One of them is expressoshow.com for the recipe, Theatre on the Bay for Jonathan Rocksmith. It's going to be a great show, great show, so please enjoy. Let's play this out with something that really just reminds you of this beautiful dessert as, as I eat. Dessert. What do you think? I'm just the iPod today, aren't I? This yes, is, you uh, are. Well, um, mm. tell you what, what, what the two of you as a double act remind me of. Mm. 